that I can't eat. I, still, I went back to not being able to eat bread or pasta or rice again. Whereas when they put, they took the point four out, I could eat rice again. I could eat a little bit of bread, not very much, but the eating rice again thing was really cool. But gotta stay focused, stay focused. So anyway, now I can't eat bread again. I can't eat rice. I can't eat pasta. Um, but I'm still kind of at a plateau, and some days it really bums me out. But here's the thing, I don't exercise, and that's my fault. That's something I should be doing, and I see a lot of people that are really committed, and they're exercising every day or three times a week or something, and I'm just like, wow, like I could never see myself doing that. And I feel really lucky that I've lost, you know, 55 to 60 pounds, because I keep going back and forth. Uh, without exercising barely at all. I just do my everyday tasks. I don't set aside any time for cardio or anything like that and I've lost this much. And I was talking to the nurse at my surgeon's office and she's like, sometimes when you get to a certain point you're gonna have to add exercise to your routine in order to break that plateau and I'm just like, no, no, I really don't want to. I hate exercising so much and I don't have time. Like, what am I supposed to do this? But, um, I think that's probably what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to start exercising because I've been going back and forth from 180 to 185 or 87 for almost a month now. And I know that I don't need another fill, which usually I would go back in for another fill, but that's what I was doing before where I was just so full that, or my restriction was so tight that I couldn't keep things down. I was throwing up a lot. And that's not healthy. It can affect your band. You can get band slippage. It's really just a risk that is not worth it. So instead of being too tight to try and lose weight, I need to add exercise into my routine because I'm at a good fill right now. I still eat small amounts. I stay full for about four hours. And I eat another small amount. And in the evening, maybe I can eat a little bit more. In the morning, I can't eat barely anything. So that is a good place for me to be. So anyway, I'm at about 185, 187 on a bad day, a 182 on a good day, and I've just been staying there. So that's where I'm at. The whole struggle with the fill thing is really, I mean, the number one issue after you have surgery is being at the right fill. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to look into your surgeon's office and how they regulate their fills. Is it going to be a huge pain in the ass for you to make an appointment with them and get to them so that you can get a fill? Because it takes a lot of fine tuning to get to the right spot in terms of your fill. And I'm really lucky that my office at Northwest Weight Loss Surgery in Everett, Washington, they're really great about fills. You can call them and they will book you a fill no matter what. Like, as long as they have a time slot available, they'll book you. And they say, two weeks and you're not losing weight, you should be in for a fill. Or at least check in with them, see what's going on. They're really supportive, they're really available, and your surgeon's office should be like that. They shouldn't put you through hell and high water to get a fill. Because if you're not at the proper fill, you can either be too tight, throwing up, which is a risk to you and your surgery and your life having the band, or you can be not tight enough and you're not losing and you feel guilty and maybe you're gaining some of the weight back that you've lost and it just it's a spiral where you feel bad and you don't want to call them or you think it's your fault. It's not your fault. 